I've got a subject here that you may or may not be interested in one way or the other. Doesn't, doesn't befront me any. Okay, what I'm going to be talking about is harmonicas. Straight diatonic, simple harmonicas. Diatonic, key in on that word. Not chromatic. And in this particular instance here, I am talking about harmonicas for, say, you predator hunters, you elk hunters, you bird watchers, you know, using a harmonica in the great outdoors. Why? Because you can get in harmony with all these animals and all these nature sounds. Very simple with a $35, $40 harmonica. But before I start getting into this, let me show you a few. There's a lot of them out there on the market. And while I'm thinking about this, if you have trouble, you know, deciding which harmonica you want, which brand name you want to pick or whatever have you, go to www.harpdepot.com. D-E-P-O-T. Harp. Depot.com. I think I started that off wrong. www.harpdepot.com. Check them out. And of course, you can get your best deals and stuff like that going through Amazon and whatever have you. But a really good harp is going to cost you in this day and age somewhere between, you know, $30 to $40 per se. Sometimes $45 at a music store. You know, they got to make their money somehow or the other. But right off the get-go, let me get this straightened out. My most favorite harmonica in the whole face of the planet is right here. I own all keys of this harp right here. It's called a Special 20 made by, by Honer, which are made in Germany. I hope you can see this okay, because I'm not back of my camera, so I, I can't see. But it's got a picture of John Popper on the box there. Great harpist from that group, Blues Traveler, okay? And also, another good uh, honer harp, if you will, that I like a lot is these Blues Harps. I carry one in my survival pack in the key of C, like in Charlie, the key of C, but that's what this looks like, okay? And... Another, personally myself, these, these Tombow Harps, T-O-M-B-O, Tombow is the company in Japan that makes these, and they make them for Lee Oscar. He was the original harpist for that group war. You know that old Wool Rider song? Do, 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 you know, like that, and I, I played that many, many times. Uh, to me, these Tombow Harps are okay, but they're a little on the tinny side for me. Here's the real deal. It's out of its box, so to speak, but that's what they look like. Tombow harps, and of course they have the Lee's name right on them, and that ain't taking anything away from Lee Oscar. Great harpist, okay? Now, here is a harp right here, ladies and gentlemen. It's overlooked a lot. These are handmade in Germany, and let me show you the front of the harp. They're called Bushmans. I hope you can see that. Bushman. B-U-S-H-M-A-N. Here's like that. This one here is in the key of C. Most harps on these diatonics, like I say, you can get them keys A through F. I own a whole set, like I said earlier, of, of Honer Special 20s, keys A through F. Okay, for, and now we're going to get into this animal calling business. Uh... The keys that I recommend right off the get-go is the key of C, D, or G. But probably, if you only had one harp to pick from, I would pick probably the key of D, like in dog. Because what this, what a harmonica will do, because you can play so many different octaves and so many pitches and all that, it, it can replace rabbit calls, them stupid turkey diaphragms for elk, hunting, you know, the things you put in your mouth and you make all that squeaking sound and it, it can replace a whole bunch of these predator calls uh, bird, you know say if you're a bird watcher, for example you're not a hunter and you wanna I've done this lots of times out in the woods, ladies and gentlemen, I've sat up there all by myself with a harp and, and, 
And if you listen real quiet, you'll hear the birds chirping. Well, by God, you better hear the birds chirping up here in Montana, because if you don't, there's something going on in them woods that you may not like, like a grizz might be around, or whatever have you. But anyway, if you know what you're doing with the harmonica, you can start squeaking on it, if you will, and sound just like that bird that's chirping up in that tree. And the next thing you know, you'll have a whole chorus going. Your own little symphony, just simply using a $40 harmonica. I'm telling you straight fly right out. A good harmonica can replace all of these animal calls, if you will. It can. Now, whoa, one thing I want, want, might, might want to mention real quick, I got an iPhone here. What does that mean? Nothing. I'll just turn this on real quick. You probably won't be able to see much. This is an Apple iPhone. There's lots of apps available for these kind of devices, okay? Your ta I have a, a Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0 tablet right here. Lots of app. I, most of my harmonica lessons are on this. Are on my tablet right there. Okay, lots of apps available for these smart devices out there, like I say. So, a harmonica, once you get into them, it's a very simple instrument to play. Okay, right here, uh, this is a key of D right there. And this is what a case looks like. These are all just plastic cases, if you will. But, this is a special 20. I, I prefer the Special 20s because they got a real good broadcast on them. They, they got a real rich, full sound, and I can absolutely understand why John Popper plays a Special 20 by Honer, okay? But let's just say, and most of the time, you're going to be on the upper register with these animals or birds or even elk or whatever have you, and all these diatonics, you probably won't be able to see this, but on the right side of the harp is your highest pitched octaves, if you will, the note. You know, it goes 1 through 10. I, I doubt you can see that because of the lighting in my studio down here. But for the most part, you're going to be on the right part of the harp. You're going to be on the right, the upper register, okay? Now, an elk. I wanted to make sure that I got this video released, especially, you know, bow hunting's coming up in most states and stuff like that. If you're a bull hunter, you probably don't have enough time to practice what a bull elk sounds like. And I'll bet you a dime to dollar, I'm going to stop for a second. I'll bet you a dime to dollar, old two, Ted Nugent. You guys know that he's a big outdoorsman and a hunter and whatnot have you. But it makes me wonder if good old Ted has ever thought about using, uh, you know, a harmonica to chirp for deer, or elk, or any of this kind of stuff. It makes me wonder. Maybe you folks know. But a bull elk, they all, every bull elk, ladies and gentlemen, has a different sound. They do not sound the same. To me, I bugled in elk pretty doggone close, and every one of them, to me, sounds like they got a harmonica stuck in your their throat, if you will. And the way they, they make a sound that kind of goes... Like that, and then they got a series of grunts at the end, you know, of, the, of their bugling call, their rut. When they're in rut, that's when they're in a breeding season. And that usually starts the first week, second week in September. Those elk go absolutely bananas because they, that's when they breed. They only breed about three weeks out of the year. It's in the month of September, and it depends on the weather. Did you hear me? It depends on the weather. And these bull elk will literally fight to the death between each other over their harem of cows. And that's a fact. And that's how a bull hunter can get right mixed up with these elk, start whistling at them, if you will, bugling at them. It's mostly a whistle and like that, and then, and then get one in close enough to get that shot. I, I used to bull hunt years ago. I don't anymore. But the simple fact of the matter is, like I say, they got kind of a e i e i you know, like that. And I was practicing this a little bit before I turned that camera on. This is going to sound all screwed up, but it doesn't make any difference. 
Just get a few little notes on that apparatus they're going, and you'd be surprised. And while I'm thinking about this, I've got a cousin of mine that lives in Polson, Montana, that took, he was up in the Bob Marshall Wilderness, got it way up in them mountains, and forgot his elk bugle, his elk whistle. He had a homemade one made out of a garden hose. But he took an empty 308 shell, an empty brass rifle shell, and whistled up a 7x7 seven seven Royal Bull Elk by just blowing into that empty cartridge. Did you just hear me? And that is God's truth. A 7x7 seven seven Royal Bull Elk. And he harvested that elk at 18 yards away from him. And he told me that that elk was, he never seen an elk so red-eyed and on the fight as that particular bull that, that he whistled up with, a, with an empty rifle cartridge. Now, if you can do that with an empty rival cartridge, you can sure do it with a harp. But, you know, it's, it goes something like this. Now, I'm in the key of, let's see, what do we got going on? I'm in the key of D here on a special 20, but that's what they sound like, an e i e i like that, and it's very easy to do with a harmonica. Let me do it again. You catching me? And like on birds, for example, how many birds have you guys seen sitting in a tree and they're just making a sound like this? hearing that and all I'm doing is just taking one note and moving my tongue back and forth. So there you are ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm trying to tell you. You can communicate very easily. All these harps I just got done showing you, let me show you the face of this Special 20. I do recommend the Honer Special 20s and no I don't work for Honer or any, I don't work for any of these companies. I just wanted to give you an example of what's out there. But a harmonica can absolutely be used to communicate with animals and get yourself in harmony with Mother Nature. You dig me? Thank you very much for the video review.